People are spooked. Australia's January consumer confidence sinks to three-decade low over Omicron. Australia's consumer sentiment dived this month as worries about the explosion in Omicron cases sent confidence to its lowest January level since 1992. Australians are spending as though they are in pandemic lockdowns, data from ANZ Bank suggests. ANZ data shows that spending has been at its lowest level since the Delta lockdowns. Caution about being out in public and staff shortages has slowed spending. There's no Victorian lockdown, but Melburnians are choosing to stay home anyway. Crowd numbers were reduced the week before the Australian Open began due to the sharp rise in Omicron cases. University of Melbourne mobility analyst Rohan Byrne said a shadow lockdown was a fair description for the situation. Elective lockdowns spending shock almost as bad as Delta. With Omicron still so pervasive, many Aussies are choosing to go into lockdown, having a major impact on our economy. Regardless of whether it's government mandated or not, the effect on the economic outcome for Australia remains the same. Bad. Right, so lots of headlines about falling consumer confidence due to self-imposed lockdowns. People are scared and would rather stay at home than to risk going out and having a meal. Let's take a look at some data from ANZ's Blue Notes. This report titled Spending Data – Omicron Malaise Lingers, published on the 19th of January 2022 states that spending declined 27% in the first half of January compared to the first half of December. Both financial conditions and economic conditions have worsened. The pink-purple line represents the confidence in financial institutions, which has just touched on the black line, which is the average since 2001. And the green-blue line represents the confidence in economic conditions, which has fallen well below 100 to about 92. To be fair, this is not as bad as early 2020, but it's still not looking too good. Major city non-food retailing is being hit by staff shortages, isolating households and cautious consumers. Due to Queensland borders reopening, Brisbane shopping shown in green has suffered the greatest decline, but pretty much every major centre has suffered. Dining and takeaway spending has fallen far more than usual in the first half of January compared with the first half of December. Melbourne dining has been hit hardest this year with a dramatic 42.9% decline, but no major city has been left unscathed. Non-food retailing is also trending downwards for all states and territories. I won't show you each of the states because it's pretty much the same pattern. Is there any good news? Well, kind of. A quarter of non-food retailing is happening online so far this year, which is more than any other year. Although this probably just means people are choosing to order food online rather than to go out and get it. It certainly doesn't mean they're spending more overall. According to the ABS's latest Labor Force publication, dated December 2021, unemployment has fallen to 4.2%. Apparently, this is the lowest it has been since the start of the global financial crisis in 2008. Remembering, though, that the ABS defines a person who is unemployed as one who, during a specified reference period, is not employed for one hour or more, is actively seeking work, and is currently available for work. So if you are not available for work for whatever reason, you are not unemployed. And remembering it only takes one hour of work to be classified as employed, not exactly raking it in even if you make $50 or $100 in that one hour. Unsurprisingly, underemployment rates have fallen significantly as well, with males having an underemployment rate of 5.6% and females 7.7%. I recently conducted a poll asking, what is your employment status? 11% of you said, I don't have a job, but I'm looking for one, unemployed, higher than the official figures of 4.2%. 18% of you said, I don't have a job and don't want one, not in the labour force. This could be retirees, pensioners, people who are permanently unable to work due to disability or whatever, prisoners, or the voluntarily inactive. 
5% of you said, I have a job, but want more hours underemployed. The majority of you, 44%, said, I have a job with just the right amount of hours, so happily employed, while 22% said, I have a job, but want to work less. Overworked. It's weird that so many of us are apparently employed, but we simply do not wish to go out and spend our money. At least, not while there is Omicron spreading around in the community. Are we scared? I don't know. But despite us being a very highly vaccinated country, we still don't want to go outside. Mm -hmm.